All right, so welcome to another episode. So in this episode, we're going to need to set up the backend to allow the uh, to allow the welcome message channel to be updated. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. So let's go over to our Discord dashboard API project. And uh, I think the best thing to do for the route, I think we'll probably do this over for guilds. So we'll go inside the guilds module, okay? So inside the guilds module, we're going to create another route for the uh, for to to ma to modify the uh, config for the update for the welcome channel, and that's going to be a post request too. So we'll do colon guild ID config welcome channel. You know, I'm just going to call this welcome, and then we'll go ahead and call this method update welcome channel okay um sooner or later we will have to update this in order for it to actually take in the the channel message but because we don't have that set up in our guild configuration yet we're not going to worry about that for now to be honest i didn't even have the current message uh, I, I didn't plan to have the current message but we'll do that later okay so the update welcome channel, we're going to need the guild ID and then we're going to need the channel ID. So the channel ID is going to come from the request body. Okay, so first let's get the uh, the guild ID first. And then next we'll get the uh, channel ID. Okay, and then we're going to need to go into our guild service. So let's go into the interface first and let's create a method, an abstract method called update a welcome channel. It's going to take the guild ID and it's going to take the channel ID as well. I'm going to call this welcome channel ID. Okay. Let's go ahead and implement the method. So update welcome channel takes in two parameters, guild ID and welcome channel ID. And all we got to do here is the same thing that we did in the update guild prefix. So we get the guild config. Okay. And then what we can do is if there's no guild config, we'll throw an error. Otherwise, we can just literally just save it. So it's literally just the same exact thing that we did in update guild prefix. Let me add async in front. But instead of uh, updating the prefix, we just update the welcome channel ID. And we just pass that in right over here. Okay, and then when we use dot save, remember it's going to return the new value. Okay, so now we can go ahead and easily call return this dot guild service update welcome channel, pass in the guild ID, welcome channel, uh, whoops, channel ID. I gotta go back to this method here. Um, okay. Update welcome channel. So you can see that we already have the guild ID right over here. The guild ID is being passed in to the get guild config method call. And then the welcome channel ID is being used right over here inside the uh, the object for the guild config repository.save. Okay, so now all we got to do is just go on the front end and make a post request to this endpoint. And we can check the database to see if it actually properly updated. So let's go ahead and do that. So right over here, if I go over to the front end code, which is right over here. We basically want to make it so that when the user clicks on save, it's going to up, it's going to call that, uh, it's going to call that endpoint. It's going to update the value. Okay. So call this const update welcome channel. And this is going to be a function that is going to be called when we click on save. Okay. And since we don't have this inside a form, we don't have to worry about uh, preventing the default behavior of the browser. Okay, so when we click on update welcome channel, well, first off, we need to actually, we need to actually uh, update the selected channel. Um, we need to update the selected channel. Uh, so in order to do that, I think what we could do is we can actually listen to an event. I think on change, I think it's on select actually. Let me check. I think it's 
and unselect. But I'm not sure what the, uh, let me actually check, let's see the logs. Okay, so it seems like it might not be on select. Might be on change though. Yeah, I think it's on change. There we go. You can see that the ID is being selected. Okay, so yeah, it's on change. So whenever we select something, we can go ahead and update uh, the value that's selected. So um, we will need to modify our use welcome page hook just a little bit. And all we're going to do is literally just create a uh, state variable. That's going to be a string. It's going to be an empty string. And we're just going to call this selected channel set selected channel. And we're going to return both the state variable as well as the setter. Okay, because we're going to need to update the state variable. So now let's go ahead and get select the channel and set select channel. Wait, change that real quick. Perfect. Okay. And so uh, instead of I, we can modify this just a little bit. So instead of comparing channel ID to config dot welcome channel ID, we can just do selected channel, which is just the, uh, let me see. Oh, we will need to set that in just a second. Okay. And uh, I don't need to use this question mark here because we already are, we, we already did an old checkup here already. So that's fine. Um, cool. So now we need to actually update the state inside the use welcome page hook. So where we call set config, we can just do set select the channel and reference data dot welcome channel ID. Okay. So this will actually be null. Actually, we should probably make this, uh, yeah. Uh, so because welcome channel ID is actually nullable. Um, let me see. All right. Well, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Yeah. Because remember welcome channel ID is nullable. I think maybe it's better if we make it a uh, non-nullable and just set the default value in the database to be a string. I think that would actually be a lot better in my opinion, but we'll leave it alone for now. Okay. Um, so let's see. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. So now what we can do is whenever we, uh, uh, what we could do is this, um, actually, wait, I'm sorry. I, I realized one thing, um, select the channel actually should be the channel that we want to, that should be the channel that we want to select that should be used to update uh, on the database, right? So if we select a new channel and we want to, that's, that's the channel that we want to use to replace the current channel with. Um, and so for that reason, I actually think it's a bad idea to compare channel.id to select the channel because if we update, because remember, we're supposed to update select the channel because this is what we're going to send to the backend, the value of selected channel. So yeah, let me actually fix that and let me change this back to config dot welcome channel ID. That's, that's going to be a lot better because if I, cause when I uh, select a channel, right inside this callback function for the select on change, it's going to update the value of selected channel and it's going to change the value that's selected. And I don't, and I don't want that. So let's ignore that for now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and update selected channel state variable whenever we select a channel. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and console log selected channel right over here. And so right now, if I click save, you're going to see that new users. I'm pretty sure that's the channel ID. However, if I select general, you're going to see the ID of general is going to be displayed. And let me see. Yep, that's the yep, that's the that's the exact ID. Perfect. Okay, so now all we got to do is just set up a function uh, in API.ts. We'll call it update uh, welcome channel ID. 
And this is going to need to take in two things, the heal ID as well as the, uh, the channel ID. Okay, so it's going to be an Axios.post request API URL, and the endpoint is guilds, uh, guild ID config slash welcome. And we're going to need to pass in a request body. So the request body, we need to pass in the channel ID, and then we need to pass in Axios config as well. Okay, remember, the, uh, the request body needs to match what it's being what's being taken in on the back end so because the parameter that we're looking for is channel id the front end needs to pass it in exactly like this as well okay so now we can go ahead and call update welcome channel and we're going to pass in whoops not that okay we'll pass in the guild id then select the channel. Uh, let's see what's going on here. There we go. Okay. Um, and let me actually make this an asynchronous function as well. And let me wrap this inside a try catch. All right, and let's go ahead and test this out. So let's go to this server, change it to general, let's click save. Let's see, um, don't think it failed. So let's, I'm gonna refresh the page. So now I'm gonna select the Lexus server. Now, when I click on welcome message, it should show general, perfect. It shows general. And if I go to the database right now, so this is the server right over here. If I select it again, you're gonna see that it gives me a different value. Okay, so now the bot will take this welcome channel ID, it'll take this channel ID, and it's gonna send all of the welcome messages to that channel. Okay, so that's how you update it from the front end all the way to the back end. And of course, if we had more channels, it would allow us to uh, it would allow us to select multiple, uh, it, uh, not multiple, sorry. It would allow us to select all of those other channels. Well, only one of them, obviously. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you can fetch the channels and update it. And that is going to be pretty much it. So uh, for majority of uh, the tutorials that we're going to have, it's going to be relatively similar to each other. But I'll create a couple more tutorials just to help you all get the hang of it. So I'll set one up where when the user joins, the bot is going to give a certain role and we'll we'll set that up on the bot side and we'll set that up on the, uh, the dashboard as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next episode. Peace out.